Today we're going to be focusing on removing this orange peel and trash. As you can see I'm not painting no real paint booth so I'm going to get trash. Let me see if I can get a shot of the orange peel. There you go. See the orange peel there? Also trash nibs. Let me show you what I'm going to be using as far as removing it. I got some 320 here, also some 400 and some 600. I done used all three of them before. If you're going to use this 320, you want to make sure you got enough clear on it, which I do. I got three coats of clear. It cuts a lot faster than 400 and 600. But I think I'm just going to go with the 600 today. And I got a rigid block and a flex block. Let me get my water up here. I got some soapy water. I'm just going to drop my blocks in my water and a piece of 600. Let it soak up for a minute, then we'll get started. I think we're going to start back here. I got some good light. And I can show you the orange peel a lot better. Man, it's not picking up. Okay, there you go. You can see this orange peel. The reason why it's called orange peel because it looks like a peel of an orange. I got my 600 wrapped around my block. I'm just going to go in the X pattern, knocking it down. I'm just going to lightly hit it for now, and I'm going to show you. Once I wipe it and it dry up, you'll be able to see the orange peel a lot better. So let me do that. Now you can see what I was talking about. You can see it a lot clearer now since I done lightly sanded the top of it. I don't care what kind of paint booth you got or whatever, you're going to have orange peel in your paint. So even though once I flow coat, there's still going to be some orange peel, but after the flow coat, I'm going to sand it back down and cut and buff. So this should get it real smooth. So I'm just going to continue. See this area here? That that area that flat. I'm gonna get it down like this all on the surface. So let me take care of that. this section here and see what we got then we can inspect it and see if we need to go back over it we'll let it dry up also okay as you can see I did above this body line. I like to work in sections. Make sure I don't get off track. You can see this part here need to come down. Still see orange peel there. Also here. Some trash there. Trash here. There. 
just need to come down this back part pretty flat sip along here and now this trash here ain't nothing I can do about that because it happened during the candy process and if you get trash in that the candy just keep building on top of it and it just have little dark spots but you're not gonna be able to see it really unless you're looking real hard so I'm gonna bring all this down some more then I probably move to another section I like to break it down work in sections because if you try to do the whole car it could overwhelm you I probably come over here and do this part here but I'm gonna go on and take care of this part back here first I'm knocking this part here down below the bottom line from here to here this is the top area I got it pretty much flat I don't know if you're getting a good shot of it, but it's flat. Let me go this way. You can see. The benefits of flow coating, it's a lot of reasons. For one, you get more protection on your paint because you put more coats of clear on it. Also, you're going to have a flatter surface. And plus, when you go back and start cutting and buffing, it's going to go a lot easier and faster because it's going to be pretty much flat from the float coat. So you pretty much can start with something like 2500 or 2000 when you start cutting and buffing. Completed this side with this body line. I'm gonna take you around front. We're gonna start on the section up there because it's a lot of trash up here. All right, you can see the trash here, also the orange peel. On these vertical areas, you're not gonna get much trash because the trash is gonna fall straight down and miss it. It's mainly gonna be on these flat areas. And this orange peel, I was painting, it was real hot that day, so my clear was drying, everything was drying a lot faster than it should, which I could have used a different hardener or reducer. But when I flow coat it, I'm going to try to paint early in the morning before it get too hot. So let's knock this down flat, like I did that back section. I'm going to be using my soft block, my flex block because I could so I won't dig into these curves here with the rigid block it'll flex with the surface so I'll wrap my sandpaper around it and use it got this top section here done now I just work my way all the way around the car knocking it on out might just do this area right here I just finished up doing the entire car for a sand and the exterior part of it I done started on doing the edges by hand I started on the other side I'm gonna take you over here and show you gotta do it around here you wanna make sure you get all that glossy finish you wanna dull it off because if you don't the clear would not burn to it, it'll just peel off in the long run. That's what I'm doing right now. Then I'll probably go back and remask some of the areas, like inside this jam here. I'll probably peel this tape up and put some more down. Still gotta do the independent wheels. I think I done finished up sanding. Pretty sure I haven't missed anything. But I know once I wipe this down, 
didn't expect it once again. But I think I'm ready to go ahead and shoot my flow coat. I'll be wiping this down with some fresh water. Finish wiping it down. I just wiped it with some fresh water. I'm gonna call it a day. Come back out here in the morning and get back started because I done got kind of tired. And when you start getting tired, you don't want to keep going because that's when you start making mistakes. You start doing stuff that you don't normally do. So I'm just gonna freshen up and come back out here in the morning. And when I come back out here in the morning, I'll wipe it down with some wax and grease and move it in. But I think I'm going to do that. Let me show you what I had remasked. This area here. Also, jams. Back here. What I'm doing now, I'm just tacking it off with a dry tack, getting all the dust and landing on it after the wipe down with wax and grease removal. Just right before the flow coat.
the stars.